Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to connect with you here today. It is Wednesday, and it is the 8th day of February. Today, if you are able to stay and join the entire time, I will be focusing on the aspects of releasing the spiritual blockages to achieving and maintaining abundance. Abundance has many different possibilities, including abundance of health, abundance of life, abundance of love, and of course, flourishing of our finances. The subject of today has, a, uh, has the possibility of utilizing a root service, which is Da'ai, the greatest love. And I am blessed to be a, a student of Master Shah, and I am blessed to be a, a student who has practiced his wisdom and teachings for quite a while, and have seen them come to fruition based on the wisdom and teachings that I have received. And so I will be sharing some of those with those who enjoy this entire hour today. Each time I come on this live stream, which is Monday through Thursdays, uh, two, it's uh, 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 4 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time, 11 a.m. in Australia, and about midnight in the UK, which makes it about 1 a.m. in Europe, uh, 5.30 a.m. in India. And so these are my daily times that I come live. And for those that take the time to watch live along with me, then I interact with you and I help to... to uh, bring some resolve to some of your direct concerns. So it's a great value in watching live. But if you cannot, you can always come to my Facebook page and watch in the future uh, any of the recordings that are kept on there. <clears throat> so thank you and welcome to everybody who's joined me today. I see some names popping in here. We're just getting started. So welcome Judas, welcome Ben, and welcome Anne-Marie. Aloha Kristen. Aloha Carol. Aloha Richard and Tammy Hunter. Yeah, check in with me Richard. Let me know how things are going since the blessing you received. And uh, Aloha CJ. Welcome Tatiana. And I'm sure others will join us. As you see behind me is a beautiful uh, rendition of a piece of art that I had created for myself about 10 years ago. It's on canvas. If you, you see how it moves. So this is actually an art piece. And it has a uh, what's called a Kai Gong blessing in it. And Kai Gong means uh, enlightened. So literally, this painting has been enlightened. And so maybe I will call on it to offer us a blessing today for our abundance and flourishing. <clears throat> so on this subject, I was reviewing some of the information in Dr. Amashar Shah's uh, most recent book, which is Soul Over Matter. And he wrote this book with a gentleman by the name of Adam Markell. And Adam, you can see their photo on the back here. Adam is a uh, uh, very popular, uh, I would say world-renowned at this point for all the English-speaking nations, uh, guru in the financial marketplace. And uh, he is a, a person who has a pure heart and a heart of service. And uh, Master Shah came across him last year at the... Uh, at the Living Expo in uh, the Los Angeles area, which, by the way, there's another one. If you'd like to see Master Shah, he'll be at the Expo in L.A. around the 20th of February. It's a rare opportunity to, to be in his presence. But during that Expo, uh, Master Shah ran in, and just literally ran into Adam Markell in the hallway, and they chatted a little bit. <coughs> and uh, Master Shah came to understand that Adam uh, had a group that he was about ready to go into a three-day presentation with and he had not actually come in for that day yet the first day is is very important it sets the field if you will for the entire event and so master Shah, from the uh, from his heart said you know would it be okay if i offered your your workshop a blessing and so adam uh explained that he was very you know concerned about this but he only had a split second to decide his concern was that if the workshop doesn't start off on the right foot then they're they have to to fix things along the way. So he decided to say yes, and, and Master Shah went in and offered a soul song blessing to the group uh, and offered a one piece of wisdom. And he said, pay attention to soul over matter. Soul is the next level. 
of understanding about how we can change the blockages that are in our life. And then Adam went on to explain how that was one of the, the best uh, workshops that he had ever taught. And then later, about nine or ten months later, they actually did a workshop together. And it was called Soul Over Matter, and this book was associated with it. This book was created just prior to the release of the workshop. And I do recommend this book, uh, especially for those that are interested in bringing resolve to the blockages that are related to their finances. Um, any, any form of blockages, including what is my career path? What uh, form of success do I need to follow? Uh, what if you're not following your heart? You're making a decent living, but you're not following your heart and you're not happy. All of these are different aspects of um, uh, not living in our full uh, soul self, if you will. And so these are covered in a, in a variety of, way of beautiful ways. And Adam Markell's wisdom touches a lot on manifestation, thought processes, mind, what we can do to control certain aspects of things. And Master Shah brings the sacred wisdom that <clears throat> even if we have uh, a consciousness to, to bring forth the manifestation of abundance, if our spiritual debt uh, is such that we maybe have brought harm or suffering to others in previous time, then in essence it inhibits us from receiving all that we place our focus on from our mind consciousness. So it's, it's like a spiritual roadblock. And so I'm going to read a little bit from this book in a little while uh, so that you get a flavor of what's in there. But it truly is exceptional. And it is also the first place that Master Shaw re uh, released the Ten Da information. And this week is focused on the first of the Ten Da's, Da I, which is the greatest love. Yesterday we focused on using Da I, the greatest love, <clears throat> including the power and frequency that was invoked into one of his very special calligraphies to bring um, clearing of the blockages associated with our relationships. And there was a lot of very um, powerful and positive comments yesterday. And I apologize for not going back and responding to each and everybody's comments. I was going through a little purification myself today. got knocked out. Uh, okay. And so um, in this process of working with the ten das, you will find that each of the ten das, and I will reveal them in just a moment for anybody that's new watching, it has the opportunity literally to, to reverse anything that's not pleasant in our life. And if our finances, if our uh, success ratio is not where we want it to be, it can impact our emotions, it can impact our relationships, it can impact just about every area of our life. So yes, it is important to have money. And money is an energy. Uh, but then again, so is spiritual debt and spiritual virtue. So we're going to be focusing on that more today. So let's go ahead and connect first, heart to heart and soul to soul. <clears throat> we place our hands in what's called the soul light, soul service hand position, which is much just like a prayer, except we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand gently points to heaven. Leave a little space where your left hand is over your heart center. Close your eyes. Let us fully connect. Dear the beloved divine, the Tao and the source. Dear all beings serving the plan of the light side, we love you, honor you, respect you, and we ask for your presence at this time to serve in whatever way is most appropriate. We are deeply honored to be uh, beautiful students in this human race with the opportunity to learn and love from each other, with the opportunity to learn selflessness and move away from selfishness, with the opportunity to understand that there could be spiritual blockages associated with our financial uh, conditions, be them excellent or very limited. We are honored for any wisdom that is shared here today, as well as any blessings that are shared here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then uh, we ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes to turn on. We invite this source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to join with us today. And we invite all souls to chant with us to serve unconditionally. Let us begin. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula. 
Thank you, thank you. Do you ever notice how much better you feel after that song is chanted? It's a very, very healing song. And it's one way in which you can do unconditional service for others. You will see that word come up a lot today. Unconditional service. And it has a direct association to what is called spiritual virtue. And one of the... Uh, most important things to understand about any of the conditions that we may have in our life. That if we have any form of suffering around it, then that means that we are in a lack of alignment uh, to what needs to occur to bring about the best results. So let me go ahead and move forward and acknowledge all those new folks that have joined us. Welcome Tara. Uh, thank you for joining us first time. Welcome Stephanie. Welcome Alicia. Haven't seen you here in a while Alicia. Welcome Zilki. And Aloha Don. Um, I saw your message the other day, Don, but um, I needed to get back to you on that. So remind me, please. Welcome, CJ. Welcome, Dvorka and your daughter. Welcome, Kristen Strachan. Welcome, Tammy Hunter. And Camille. Welcome, Camille. Welcome, Brenda and Linda Jansen. Ali. Aloha, Pat. And Jitka. Lots of new names. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come to this uh, wisdom and teaching. Welcome Michelle and Renee. Okay, so I'd like to share uh, some sacred wisdom on this. I'm going to ask um, for some wisdom to come and then I will share that with you and uh, on this specific subject. So just give me just a moment. So this sacred wisdom is from the soul of financial abundance. And the message is, an open heart has a direct relation to abundance. Abundance is a name that is not limited to finances. Abundance is representative of alignment to your source. Abundance is representative of a loving and open heart. Are you compassionate? Are you able to be in the presence of someone suffering and be in a place of love? Are you able to love yourself? in trying conditions. An open heart is an alignment with the source. And when you allow yourself and practice to stay in this place, because that is the key word, staying in your place, then abundance can come to you. It is our mind along with the blockages incurred from spiritual debt that inhibit us from bringing forth the blessings 
that we may be deserved of. So when we have an open heart, when we are of value to humanity in our thoughts, our words, and our actions, and there is still not abundance flowing, then we look to the mind and we look to the spiritual debt. If we know we have an unconditional service and we serve and serve and serve with no expectations of return, then we look to how open is our heart and what is happening with our mind. If our mind is focused on receiving great abundance with a great clarity of exactly what it will look like, no doubt whatsoever, but it is still not coming, then we look to the blockages of the heart and the blockages of spiritual debt. These three work in combination. And if these three are not aligned, then there is a lack of alignment of abundance. Da I, the greatest love, carries the frequency of source. And with this frequency, blockages can be melted. Mind blockages can be directly addressed. Love blockages can be gently released. Spiritual debt can be slowly lifted away. It is Da I, the greatest love, that assists in the bringing about of the balance of these three areas of potential imbalance. And in this way, you can identify one, two, or three areas that need to have the most attention placed upon them. So keep these three areas in mind, and when you do your practices, address them to the most appropriate area. If you have difficulty focusing, bringing forth the manifestation of what you desire because of a busy mind, because of patternistic thinking, of insufficiencies, and you are clear that you are an unconditional servant in your thoughts, words, and actions, and you are confident that your heart is open, then ask Da I, the greatest love, to assist in cleansing and clearing the blockages directly associated with the mind, the mind patterns, and those negative beliefs that have been adopted as truth. When one has a heart that is not fully open, there is selfishness, there is jealousy, there is aspects of greed, there is thinking that is exclusive versus inclusive. These are some aspects of a heart that is not fully open. If your heart is not fully open, you second-guess yourself, you do not trust and honor yourself, you do not allow people's positive comments to be received and absorbed with love. These are also aspects of a heart that is not fully open. If you cannot allow a person's positive comments to be received with love, how can you allow abundance in all areas, including love and finances, to come to you? This is part and parcel of this teaching. There is the aspect of spiritual debt. Spiritual debt is an accumulation. It is something that carries forth in all time. It is something that is both yours and your ancestors. Spiritual debt is something that is obvious 
for those that have had significant financial blockages. And so it is important to be aware of this and do the necessary practices to enhance the virtue that is the opposite of debt. Or we've spoken about this in the book that was spoken about earlier. This is a synopsis of the three areas of which contribute to imbalances in bringing forth the abundance that would allow you to be in alignment and the receiving of all abundance in all areas of life. It is my honor to offer you this sacred wisdom at this time. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so thank you for that message. And teachings from Master Shah. Well, how did that resonate with you? Did that make sense? Did you get any aha moments out of that? Um, did something, you say, yeah, I kind of knew that, yeah, I kind of knew that, but that makes sense because I didn't really put focus here. Um, you know, it's something that, that I um, had not really understood until just now, these three separate areas. Um, as I am always uh, receiving messages, and this was one that was just received, and so as I was speaking it, I inside myself was going, oh, that makes sense. That's quite a bit deeper wisdom that, than, that, than I was carrying at this time. So I'm going to read to you something from this book, Soul Over Matter. <clears throat> um, and it's on page 34. It's a relatively small book. It's only about 150 pages. And it has uh, two main authors and two sub-authors in it offering their insights. And as indicated, the ten da's are listed in here. The ten da's are the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, greatest light, the greatest humility, greatest harmony, greatest flourishing, flourishing, it's much like abundance, the greatest gratitude, greatest service, and greatest enlightenment. The Mandarin Chinese words for, their, for them are Da Ai, Da Quan Shu, Da Ci Bei, Da Guang Ming, Da Qian Bei, Da He She, Da uh, Chang Sheng, Da Gan Un, Da Fu, and Da Yuan Man. This is why they're called the Ten Das. Master Sha is a Mandarin Chinese uh, gentleman. He speaks very good English, a little bit of a accent of course but um, he has a very good uh, English vocabulary and um, but there's a reason why it's called the ten das da means greatest and then a little bit later I will be using this calligraphy for a blessing so I hope you're able to stick around this is uh, this book and this calligraphy has received a very very special blessing from Master Shah specifically for creation and so we have uh, a creation blessing inside of the greatest love calligraphy it is extraordinary and so you'll be uh, receiving that blessing today for those that stick around okay so uh, let me go back over here to where I was okay so I'm on page 35 and there is a one sentence secret listed here. And it says that karma, karma, which is the record of all services of all time, the record of good and unpleasant services. Karma is the root cause of success and failure in every aspect of life, including health, relationships, and business. Soul over matter, the true secret for financial abundance. Soul over matter. Why is it soul over matter? You heard mind over matter. You've used mind over matter. If you're watching this, you're not a neophyte to this 
intelligence of manifestation and mind over matter, and you've probably used it successfully. So why is it that soul over matter has even more power, uh, opportunity to bring value into our life? Reason is because soul is where we originate from. The soul is present before the mind and the body. The soul lives forever. The soul carries forth lifetimes of wisdom. Lifetimes. And it also carries forth the record of our pleasant and unpleasant services. Therefore, if we have offered a lot of unpleasant services, then one of those three legs of abundance has been negatively impacted. One of those three legs, which is spiritual debt, or spiritual virtue. If we did many pleasant services, you don't have, you don't have any problems financially. Um, but if we have not, then one of those three legs is impacted. This is important to understand. This next wisdom is new wisdom. Uh, it says, for finances and business, soul over matter means the soul can create financial abundance. We have explained the ancient wisdom of Jing Qi Shen. We have emphasized the four sacred phrases. Now, this is earlier in the book, so this will be a, a very short version of it. Jing is uh, matter. Qi is energy. Shen is soul, heart, and mind. So the message is Ling Dao Shen Dao. This is Mandarin Chinese, which says the soul arrives and the heart arrives. Soul is the carrier of message. Why is soul the carrier of message? Because your soul carries the record of your pleasant and unpleasant services. Therefore, it's the carrier of the message that shows up in our present life. Ling Dao Shin Dao. Soul arrives, heart arrives. Shin Dao Yi Dao. Heart arrives, consciousness arrives. So start to follow this wisdom. The soul sends a message and inspires the heart. The heart arrives and then consciousness arrives. What is consciousness? It is the mind. So the heart is above the mind. The soul is above the heart. We have been working with mind over matter, but even with mind over matter, we still get blocked. With mind over matter, we, uh, we wallow in the, in the circle of doing what we think is right, the best that we can, and yet nothing ever seems to work. And that's because at the soul level, there are different blockages that are inhibiting us. Soul arrives, then heart arrives. Heart arrives, then consciousness arrives. Yi Dao, Qi Dao, consciousness arrives, then energy arrives. So when we hear mind over matter and we focus on it, sometimes it comes to manifestation. Mind arrives, energy arrives. Energy brings forth the momentum that brings into manifestation the matter. The matter, Qi Dao, Shu Dao, energy arrives, blood arrives. Blood is the representation of matter. So the four sentences are Ling Dao, Shin Dao, Shin Dao, Yi Dao, Yi Dao, Qi Dao, Qi Dao, Xu Dao. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. When we deal with things at the level of soul first, and the heart is on board, and the heart says, Ah, oh, I love that. Beautiful. The mind says, Ah, oh, I love that too. I'm happy to agree. It sends a message to the energy. The energy brings forth and starts circulating the matter, and the matter brings into fruition that which we place our request upon if we have the spiritual virtue to accomplish the end result. Okay? So now we are ready to release the true secret for financial abundance. What is the real key for your finances and your business to flourish? In one sentence, the root cause for financial abundance in one's good personal karma and one's good ancestral karma from all lifetimes. So that's the root cause of financial success is good service from your and ancestors all lifetimes. The one sentence secret for the flip side or the yin to the yang, the root cause for financial lack in one's is one's negative personal karma and one's negative ancestral 
karma from all lifetimes. Karma is not good or bad. Karma is a word that represents a, a um, pool, a, a, a total representation, a pool of positive and unpleasant services. So think of karma as a bowl. Uh, karma is just a bowl that represents the culmination of all these services that have been offered. And so we keep that as the key as they move forward to the next layer of teaching. On page 39, why some people have wealth. So why do some people have financial abundance? The root cause is good karma. They and their ancestors accumulate great virtue in their lifetimes. They served people very well. For this good service, they were given good virtue. This good virtue, which is recorded in the records in heaven, are transformed to physical money on earth. If they continue to serve well, they will continue to have financial abundance in their future lifetimes as well. Their descendants will also flourish. The two stories that he shared explain that. So I'm going to read one of the stories. So, this is one of the stories to represent this. There was a Chinese book known as Liao, uh, Liao Fan's Four Lessons. And it was written in the early 17th century. It's based on truth. In the Fujian province, Rong Yang was a prominent in the imperial court uh, as the emperor's teacher. His ancestors were boat people. His ancestors, those before him, were boat people who made a living by helping people across the river. One day, a storm caused severe flooding that washed away all of the houses in the area. People animals and possessions were swept downstream, downriver. Most of the boaters took advantage of the situation. So there's other boat people out there who cater people across the river. And they took advantage of the situation. And they collected the various belongings that were floating along in the water, kept them for themselves. Only Rong Yang's grandfather and great-grandfather tried to rescue the people drowning in the river. They did not take any of the goods that were floating by. All of the other boats did. All of the other boaters, they thought that Rong Yang's grandfather and great-grandfather were very foolish. Stupid people. Why do you go and just save those people? Why don't you pick up all these belongings? You could be wealthy. After Rong Yang's father was born, a short while later, the Yang family gradually became wealthy. One day, a heavenly saint manifested as a Taoist monk and came to the Yang family to tell them that their ancestors had accumulated much hidden virtue. Consequently, they and their descendants would enjoy prosperity and prominence. The monk also guided the family to build their ancestral tomb in a special place to honor and receive for their blessings from their ancestors. They followed the monk's suggestion, and today this site is still there. It's renowned, and it's called the White Hair Grave. Rong Yong passed the imperial examinations when he was only 20 years old. He received an imperial appointment, and the emperor granted the same imperial honor to Rong Yong's grandfather and great-grandfather. To this day, the Rong Yang's many virtues and prosperous descendants are still very prominent. So this is an example of the descendants plant the tree, uh, the ancestors plant the tree, the descendants enjoy the shade. So this is a positive example, but it also works the other direction. So now we have a pretty good foundation and a pretty good understanding. I do recommend getting the, this book because uh, many of the principles in here are written by the other gentleman, Adam Markell, and they're exceptional practices that you can do to bring forth manifestation, to have the right mind, the right future-paced perspectives, um, the right thinking. There is wisdom in there that Adam Markell has brought about um, how, to, how to realign thinking that is not serving you. 
what Master Shah brings in this book is the ten Das and how to apply them to uh, build virtue in your virtue account, offset spiritual debt, because that is what impacts you at the soul level. That is what is impeding uh, flourishing at the physical level. I don't know if you caught the, the, the specific statement earlier, but spiritual virtue, good karma, collects and they have a virtue bank. You have a virtue bank. All of us do. And that virtue bank can be released to bring physical currency here on earth. It just depends. Are you aligned in those three areas? So this is the deep wisdom that Master Shah brings to us. So now we're going to apply uh, the practices. And as always, we want to apply forgiveness because forgiveness is the other side of that gold coin. Love on one side, forgiveness on the other side. If we have spiritual debt, especially in the area of finance and financial blockages, uh, abundance, then <laughs> Most likely, somewhere along the line, us or our ancestors had incurred that spiritual debt. And therefore, we, uh, we have to do our best to offset that. We can offset it through multiple ways. We can offset it through um, forgiveness. Every day, sincere forgiveness. We can, and you have to do a lot of it. This is, you know, if you've been suffering a long time, guess what? You got to do a lot of it. You can't say, you know, why do I still have it? If you still have it, there's a reason. There's a lot of spiritual debt. Very simple. So we have to do a lot of it. Also, we have to be pure in our heart. Remember, that was one of, one of the things that came through in the sacred wisdom. We have to purify our heart. If we don't love ourselves, our heart is not pure. If we have problems with, with our source, creator, if we have difficulty connecting, if we judge people as they walk by, they, they, we don't even talk to them. We just see the clothes they wear and there's judgments. This is blockages in the heart. Uh, selfishness. You know, we have some food and uh, we don't really want to share it because it's one of our favorites. Uh, all, I have these blockages. I'm not special. I have all these blockages I just mentioned. But I'm constantly working on them, constantly trying to see them and address them directly in that moment through love and forgiveness. And this is the path to open our heart because that's also one of the ways to receive the, the blessings from heaven. It's like, um, remember how I just stated, we, we, have, we have a virtue account. It becomes physical money here on earth. But that funnel can be very narrow and very restricted. The restrictions, the little noose knots on that funnel is our spiritual debts. Each time we do a forgiveness practice, zip, one of the zip lines come off. Okay, Each time we, we release our heart blockages zip, and a little rubber band comes off, a little more flow comes. Each time we apply one of the ten Da's, greatest gratitude. Ah, thank you heaven for this beautiful uh, financial blessing on the ground as you pick up that penny. Did you have gratitude for the penny? Gratitude can be expressed everywhere. When we have gratitude for all that we have, zinc, the funnel opens up a little bit more. So these are all ways to open our heart. This practice alone will only, will only affect one aspect of it. This practice that we're going to do um, will release some of the uh, uh, blockages associated with the spiritual debt through forgiveness. We will ask the creation uh, trans, the creation transmission transmitted into the greatest love calligraphy right here in this book. We will ask it to help us to create, much like mind over matter creates, we're going to ask it to create for us the conditions that we desire. Um, but that's a different aspect. So we're trying to address all three at the same time, opening our heart using this to shift our mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that are limiting us, and as well, uh, bringing forth manifestation, okay? So we'll do this practice together. So wherever you're at, sit up straight, bring your back away from the back of the chair, placing your hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. Close your eyes. And if it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear Divine, dear the Creator, I love you. 
please forgive me for this in all time, for any harm or suffering that I have brought to any souls in creating a lack of abundance, a lack of flourishing in any area of their life. Dear the soul of my ancestors, I love you. Could you please come do this practice with me? Continue to repeat, dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have offered you disrespect, lack of honoring for your intelligence, your love, your services, if I or my ancestors have offered you unfair remuneration for the services that you offered, if I or my ancestors have cheated you, lied to you, or have had done uh, wrong, unpleasant business dealings in this or any time, I humbly and sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors have created actions that have caused you to close your heart, once again, I deeply and sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors have caused thinking negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego or attachments that you were unable to receive financial blessings because we taught you incorrectly or we made you to believe that our way was a better way. Again, I most humbly, deeply and sincerely apologize. I ask that you recognize that I have learned my lessons, that with all future abundance, I will serve more. I will serve more now. And as I am blessed with more abundance, I will serve even more. I will not make the same mistakes again. I will avoid greed. I will avoid selfishness. I will avoid those things that have brought unpleasant experiences to my life. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of the Da I calligraphy and the creation Jindan in the calligraphy that Master Paul will trace. Could you please offer me a blessing as appropriate for bringing flourishing and abundance to my life, for releasing negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego, and attachments? Could you please offer a blessing as appropriate to open my heart more and more? I am beyond grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So with your eyes closed, visualize your heart opening up. Visualize uh, forgiveness being offered to you. Visualize your bank account in heaven being filled up with virtue. Remember to be grateful in this process. Let us begin. Dai dai, dai dai, dai dai, dai dai, dai dai, dai dai. Da I da I da I da I greatest love blesses my flourishing greatest love blesses my finances. Da I da I 
releases negative thinking. Da I da I blesses negative mindsets, releases blockages, heals my heart and soul. Da I da I releases ego and attachments. Da I da I bless me to fully love myself. Da I da I releases selfishness. Da I da I bless my heart and soul. Da I da I open my heart and soul. Da I da I teach my ancestors. Da I da I bless my ancestors. Da I creation light ball create great abundance. Da I creation light ball bless my career and success. Da I creation light ball blesses my finances. Da I creation light ball blesses my heart and soul. Da I da I greatest love. Da I da I blesses my financial flourishing. Da I da I bless my mindsets and attitudes. Da I da I. Releases negative thinking. Da I da I opens my heart to service. Da I da I opens my heart to service. Da I da I. Gives me new ideas for success. Da I da I teaches me gratitude. Da I da I opens my heart and soul. Da I creation light ball brings forth. Tremendous success. Da I creation light ball manifest huge success. Da I creation light ball manifest the best conditions. Da I creation light ball prepares me for success. Da I creation light ball creates the mind of success. Da I creation light ball creates the heart of success. Da I creation light ball creates wealth and abundance. Da I creation light ball changes my attitudes. Da I creation light ball creates prosperity mindsets. 
da ai da ai da ai da ai da ai da ai blesses my finances greatest love releases selfishness greatest Love releases self-judgment. Greatest love releases the need for approval. Greatest love releases self-doubt and worry. Greatest love resets my thinking greatest love brings positivity wus isher da ai wu tao jian ai rong hua zai nang Xin xing shang ming Greatest love Boosts my finances Brings prosperity Opens my heart and soul I promise to share my wealth I promise to serve other souls. I promise to not be selfish. Thank you for your forgiveness. Dear all souls, please accept my request. Please forgive me and my ancestors. Da ai da ai open my heart and soul. Da ai da ai thank you, thank you. So let us bow our heads to the greatest love, to the countless blessings from the Tao Source Calligraphies, from the great wisdom and sacred wisdom that Master Shah has brought to humanity, from the soul over matter wisdom that can assist us in releasing these blockages. Let us offer our deep gratitude silently to all those that came at this time. Countless, countless bow downs, countless, countless bow downs, countless, countless bow downs. We are very humbled and grateful. So please share, how was that experience for you? Did you have any third eye images pop up? Did you get any aha moments from this wisdom? Did you receive any insights that can assist you? I see Brenda has shared that uh, what's neat is while I sing, she can hear others singing too. That her soul is so happy after watching <coughs> my live streams and Master Gina's live streams. Thank you so much, Brenda. <coughs> the, um, it's true. Heaven is always present. Heaven is always present around you. They're always present here as well. And even Kuan Yin and Happy Buddha were here as well. So... The heaven is always present. We are never far from heaven. Excuse me, heaven is never far from us. We tend to be far from heaven, most often because we're stuck in our mind and our emotions. So Da I, the greatest love, gives us an opportunity to elevate our frequencies above all that and transform those blockages. So please share what your experiences were. I want to advise you that there are several ways to release these blockages. To remind you, there are three major blockages. One is the blockages of the heart, and they can be a variety of things, including um, the different ways that selfishness shows up in our life, 
uh, lack of self-love for ourself, jealousies, um, judgments and criticisms of others. These are all, whenever we judge and criticize others, and again, I am just as much as a coper as anybody. I'm constantly cutting off the monkey mind and saying, no, you know, that's not correct. Please forgive me. <clears throat> but whenever we do a judge or criticism of another, even in our mind, that is recorded. That is a spiritual debt. We want to instantly catch it. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Uh, please forgive me, this soul, for this judgment, this criticism. I, I will improve to the soul of greatest love. Please bless me to clear these blockages so that I can uh, have a more pure heart. You can do this on your own. What happens is spiritual debt is something that is earned. It's something that occurs because in this or previous time, we or our ancestors had made some significant, uh, uh, we have caused some significant harm to others. Uh, imagine, um, imagine, um, somebody being so mean to you that you feel you are, are useless. Um, some of you probably have had that in this life. Imagine if we were that to others in a different time. And so what happens is if we have uh, self-love issues, then they're not just going to go away overnight just because we, we catch them and want them to go away. Those, those, those are roots can run deep. It depends. So we must do a lot of forgiveness. We must do a lot of practice. You can also receive special services. Now these special services have the power to, to transform these blockages dramatically faster. It's something that I have been blessed to receive through special transmissions from Master Shah. So if you're interested in these special services, you can learn more about them. There are crown chakra blessings for releasing jealousy and criticisms. There are special services for opening your heart and soul. There are special services for flourishing your finances. There are special services for removing negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, things like that. And when we receive these special services, it assists the individual to transform whatever's happening in their life dramatically faster. Um, they're not fighting such an uphill battle. I use the analogy, and I used it the other day, Richard might be watching, but if you know, sometimes it feels like we're pushing a very large rock up a hill, and, the, and, and we go up a couple of feet and we slide back. The sliding back is the grease okay on the hill and uh, that grease is our spiritual debt when we receive sp uh, special blessings like what I'm talking about it removes the grease and makes that rock a whole lot smaller and it makes it much more uh, uh, possible to transform these blockages much much faster and, and receive the uh, abundance that you so desire so remember those three areas the self-love and open heart blockages the um, uh, the spiritual debt uh, limitations blockages and of course the uh, negative mindset attitudes beliefs ego and attachments all three of those mind-based heart-based and spiritual debt based impact us in our inability to receive the uh, financial blessings and abundance we would like so uh, feel free to contact me through facebook messenger or go to my website asoulhealer.com it's also listed above my video there for anybody new that's watching if you've enjoyed this you want to watch my future live streams hit the subscribe button tomorrow i will be focusing on health and maintaining the the health that you have or um bringing back your health to that excellent maintenance level. And I will be using the same wisdom of the Da'ai uh, to assist you with that. Um, because Da'ai, greatest love, can melt all blockages. Monday, we focused on self-love issues. Uh, yesterday, we focused on relationship. Today, we focused on finances. Tomorrow, I'll be focusing on uh, health. And But I've been using the same tool each time, Da'ai. So, greatest love can melt all blockages. So, I invite you to return tomorrow. Uh, please share if you have not already by hitting the share button. Uh, if you have friends that can benefit from this, please share the video URL. You can do that by right-clicking on the video once it's done, possibly even when it's live. And the, uh, one of the choices that pops up is uh, share this URL. And you can paste that to one of your friends in the Facebook. Um, but thank you so much for your comments, and I hope that you gained as much from this as I did. I love you, love you, love you. We thank all beings of light that came to serve at this time. We love you, love you, love you. We thank you, thank you, thank you. Please respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.